That's it's not a fee. It's not a fee. It's actually just the cost of transmitting this material. There are no financial benefits. The absolutely clinic, not. And our rec absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and we're happy. Look, we look forward to the facts coming out. The per item thing works a little better just because we can see how much we can get out of it. Because if you have someone in a really anti-state that's going to be doing this for you, they're probably going to get caught. Obviously not all in the gestational age that you're right. interested in. But you want mostly over 14s? Yeah, yeah. You can kind of play with that lower range, I think, if the specimens are coming out more intact. Um, and so that, I mean, I guess we'll kind of get a first-hand look at that today, <laughs> later on. Um, how, many, um, how many procedures can are scheduled? Can I interrupt oh, yeah. just right there mm -hmm. when you're talking about an intact specimen? Um, is th so how many of those do you see? An intact you, specimen? Yeah, within, so what's your volume in on an average Tuesday? Um, with just second tries? Mm-hmm. We're going to be five, so anywhere as low as three up to seven. Okay. All right, and so um, intact? Can, can you intact, intact, so we do um, basically DNEs. Intact is probably less than 10%. Less than 10%. Sometimes, you know, if we get if someone delivers before we are able to see them for procedure, then we are intact. Uh huh. Mm. Um, but you'll never know. That's not what we go for. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. for that to not happen. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Sometimes, you know, if we get, if someone delivers before we are able to see them for procedure, then we are intact. Uh huh. So obviously, we want product that we can use. Yep. That's um, and. Um, I think that's probably the biggest thing is that yeah. we want to avoid paying for material that we're not going to be able to process and right. use and send to researchers. So if there's, you know, we certainly see a difference between, uh, it makes a big difference to us if there's a case that is, you know, so mangled we can't even get like a shred of, you know, piece of, of liver out of it versus something that we can get, um, you know, we can get liver, thymus, pancreas, um, and neural tissue. So um, obviously that second sorry. case is a lot more... Yeah. Sorry, no, I didn't mean so to compensation <laughs> could be uh, specific to the specimen. Okay, mm -hmm. and I think then we would just—I mean, I think for us, we would need criteria. Yeah, clear criteria um, for what yeah. makes something usable or usable. not. Okay, right. Um, right. And even if you have pictures, because I think some of it is right. visual at least at this level. Mm -hmm. Right. Because um, mm -hmm. we're not able to—we're not looking at things on the microscope too to see if whether right. it's right. usable or not. Right. Um, so this is going to be naked eye. Um, determination and so those kinds of things of what you're looking for. Obviously, you'd get trained. I don't know if I've ever seen a thymus, but maybe I haven't. I don't know. <laughs> I know I've seen livers, I've seen stomachs, I've seen neural, plenty of neural tissue. We usually mm -hmm. you can see the whole brain usually come out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know, when you get to 17, 18 weeks, because we do some of those, and that's when you're doing a lot more of the DNA, and you might get larger. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where we'd have to, to do a little bit of training with the providers so on making sure they didn't crush mm -hmm. or we're able to. So it's a matter of just training, it sounds like, to a provider. I think so. I mean, it's hard to know how their um, yeah. specimen come out right now because it's not like we've ever been looking. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. It's not your. Yeah. We haven't been looking. So it's, um, we have to kind of see the baseline of how things are getting extracted now and then right. see if we could do any work with them to maybe be a little bit more gentle. Right. Um, so I feel like if you're talking to other plant parents, we sort of all have to be on the same. Age, right, mm. almost to the mm -hmm. point where we have to disclose to each other that we're all doing this. So if anyone gets called out or runs with it, that we're all like, oh, I didn't know you were doing this. Oh, I'm doing this too. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we have to be um, 
I think we have to be coordinated with To keep other. the story straight. Yeah. <laughs> well, and to make sure that we're all saying the same thing. Right. And that the CEOs are all saying the same thing. Right. Yeah. Um, I, I think um, the resistance that I have felt is from people that, yes, they want to do it, but they don't understand that uh, doing it right can be easy just with getting the attorneys on board, having, um, I mean, we all know that, for example, compensation. I, I want to come in and pay you top dollar for uh, because I know what you're going to be facing and I want you to be happy. I want to make sure our suppliers are um, happy. So compensation, okay, your cost is negligent. So it could look like we're paying you for right. specimens. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it correctly. Mm -hmm. We all know that Yes, that's what we're so doing. Processing and time. And exactly. Yeah. So yes, I am paying you, but how we're talking about it out there in the public square. Are the other Planned Parenthoods doing this through research, or are they just doing it as a um, standalone contract? Right. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. even though we're doing it through research, if it comes out that someone else is just doing it as a business sort of venture, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it's a different spin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how how could you imagine that being handled? If that is, we'd have to. That's where I mean, I'd have to talk to Deb and see who else was involved, mm -hmm. um, and and get us all together. I think Deb could probably spearhead something. So to sort of be on the tail end of your conversations where you actually have contracts in place. Oh, are you talking about Deb Nicotola or Deb Vanderhei? Nicotola, because so I feel like she has said before that that, re that they decided at, at National that research was overkill for tissue procurement because it's, it's not really research, it's just collecting well, tissue and so there's no study. Putting it under the research gives us a little bit of a, um, a, a little overhang sort of over the whole thing. It so makes I it look better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean publicly I think it makes a lot more sense for it to mm -hmm. be in the research vein than as a Right, it's how we talk about it. Yeah, it's how we talk about it. So even though they don't want to do it, and I may need to call research and Deb and just kind of shake this out because I do want the other Planned Parenthoods, I want us all to be making the same decision. So if we all decide that we're going to do it outside of research, then we do it outside of research. But if we all decide we're going to do it under research, that we have a different path that we know that we're all registering and doing the same thing. Again, it's just that mm -hmm. cohesive so you really think there should there should almost be a, a national policy and protocol for how Planned Parenthood affiliates do tissue premium? We can't, just because we're all so different. Oh. But mm -hmm. we have to be, we have to know who else is doing this. Because mm -hmm. if you have someone in a really anti-state that's going to be doing this for you, they're probably going to get caught. How patients. confident are you with your attorneys, the work that you're sure. seeing? They're building many layers so that they are making it difficult. He's got it figured out that he knows that even if, because we talked to him in the beginning, we're, you mm -hmm. know, we were like, we don't want to get called on you know, selling beetle parts mm -hmm. across. Neither do states. we. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no one wants to get. Right. So, so how do we protect, so ourselves, do we protect from ourselves from that? And you feel confident that they're building those layers? and I'm confident that our legal will make sure that we are not put in that situation. Was that crack? Was that the just the little bits of the skull? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to. I'm just missing one leg. The foot. That's the heart. I think so. Right. Yeah. Here's the heart. Everyone's trying to get in on it. My fingers will smush it if I try to. You're what trying you to pick it up. The heart is right there. The heart over there. So would you call that intact? These are intact yeah, kidneys, okay. yes. If somebody needed... Because if needed I looked at that, I'd be like, that's good to go. Uh, oh, yeah. That's like 21. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five stars. But there was like three or four samples we could have taken out of the 11.6, so that would Excellent. be, you know, if we were doing like, you know, 50 to 75 per specimen, that would be like 200 or 300, right? then we'd be comfortable with that. But like, so it's like stuff like this, like we don't want to be like just a flat fee of like 200 and then... Yeah, it's like <laughs> no, and you know the uh, 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 I, I think that 
I think the per item thing works a little better just because we can see how much we can get out of it. So what do people, do they want brain? What do they do with it? Yeah, them? no, bra so brain, what you can do is, is, is with brain, they, so um... people do stuff with eyeballs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Although eyeballs, they generally want more developed than this. And the cow, there was, there was, uh, first there was brain in here. We blasted it out. When we, yeah, they got blasted out with the water. Well, you know, a lot of times, especially with the second tries, is we won't even put water because it's so big. You can just put your hand in there and pick up. Right, and just pick it up. Um, so I don't think they would be as war torn. Yeah, we're war torn. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'll throw some organs for you. They're all attached. Here's the really? stomach. Oops, sorry. Can we? Can we? Uh, heart. Oh, the stomach, yeah. a heart, a mm -hmm. kidney, and adrenal. I don't know what else is in there. Tiny. Mm -hmm. Tiny. Mm -hmm. I don't see the legs. Did you see any legs? I don't really look, but... Mm -hmm. oh, look, there's some... There you go. Yep. We got all of them right and there. Another boy! Another boy! Another boy! Another boy! Another boy!